Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for The Witcher 3 once again today. We continue our Blood and Wine DLC and apparently we are kind of wrapping up our side quests here. We are kind of doing any last side quests, contracts, possibly, possibly Gwent? We'll see. Depends. But yes, a lot of side quests and uh, I think we have a singular Witcher contract technically. So I'd like to go do those, finish those up and prepare ourselves for... The actual end of the game, which, like, I don't know how to process. So, here we go! A Knight's Tales. A short distance from Castle Ravello, Geralt happened upon a notice posted by Jacob, a lumberjack. The logger was in search of someone who had no fear of spells and could thus face a witch. This was the very description of the Witcher, no two ways about it, so it was no surprise that our hero took an interest in the notice and decided to visit Jacob. Which is easy. What we deal with every day. Come on, Roach. Here we go. Enough hay for now. You've had enough. Did I go to the grindstone before I left? I don't think I did. That's okay. <laughs> you guys like the painting? It's good. I... <laughs> I was gonna go for the horseback painting. I could- I should have maybe just gone for the horseback and the griffin. Would that have been maybe the most, like, heroic painting? I think that- I think that's the painting that Geralt would have liked the best. With the horse and the griffin, but, um... You know, I just went with what felt right. There are things- oh goodness. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's two. Oh my. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I have a potion to help me. Clears toxicity. No. Yes. Rude. I've upgraded Ken now. I need to remember. Okay, upgraded Quen means nothing to them. Okay, what, what about upgraded Yurdi? How about that? That does mean something. Does that mean anything? It does. It does. Yes, it does. That is the way. Yurdin? is the answer to everything. I've been using Ard as the answer to Giant all problems, which, like, ground. is fair. Should destroy it. But I need to go back to using Yurden to solve all my problems, which I used to do. I think that's, I think that's the move. Hello there, Roach. We, uh, I... Thank you. What? Huh? You're welcome. <laughs> Yen will appreciate what I chose. Do you think she will like the painting? Oh, it's for Yennefer, of course. <clears throat> That's who I got it for. <laughs> you can trap them with Yurden. How nice. It looks like he uh, kept trying to leave. But didn't. Alright. Noted. That's it, Roach. Okay, good, good try. The jumping could be a bit more Happy fluid. Trail. Hey, watch it! Did I just run someone over? Sorry, I dropped frames. You got run over. It's a good, good excuse. Sorry, I ran you over. It was, it was the frame drop. Okay, don't run over the dog. I did that once, and I will never do it again, because it did matter. And it was terrible. Why ominous music? Stay with me a bit longer, Lady Daphne. Uh... You, Jacob? 
heal Mohot now. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See, not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you, you could lift Ooh. the curse. Aren't you a little too old? Geralt, the, the person who solves curses involving weird riddles and legends constantly, ridicules this guy for believing in the tale. <laughs> Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? It's a bedtime Want story, nothing more. Busted, How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. He's like, Fair excuse point. me. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha. Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well... I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover. Colophon included. All right, Geralt. Uh, yeah, so what's the deal? Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy eye. Do you think me bore me? what? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for knights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crud pie. But I see this as all crud the more pie. reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Let's examine. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. Gods be bumped. Swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. That's <laughs> weird. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. Okay, so it's super cursed. Bark. Resembles hypertrophic scars in places, medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Blood seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. I don't like that the tree is crying. I don't like that. That's not Mogger normal. Was making good time. Strange though. Willows isolated. I'm no a witch. You can trust me. You can trust me on this one. That's that's not normal. And did you look at the tree close? Mm -hmm. It actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not wondrous. say so? My help doesn't come free, you Points? know. You speak to a lowly woodcutter. No stench of coin about me. Uh, it's like at this rate, like why am I even negotiating? Like I should just let if if he really needs the money that like I I want I want a hundred and twelve. Agreed. I will pay like as soon as the young mate is free. I'll help. I'll help. Willing to help. But first, I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, 
Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Link's Craig. Search there for a means to free okay. Daphne. Okay. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. He's, he knows a Good lot about luck, this. Richard. He was ready for this. Why was he... Why was he so ready? <laughs> okay. Well. Let's get to it. Why is the tree bleeding? That's not normal. See if we can actually help out with the curse this time. I also wonder what's going on. Like, don't actually tell me, but like, I wonder what's going on with the Duchess and her sister. She made it very clear that I was not to harm her sister, which was like very important, it seems. So it seems like extra important that like not I promised. Attacking. Doesn't mean it's not a threat though. That's it, Roach. What? Where's that kid running to? Huh. Telling me to go where? Oh, I need to go faster. I need to go here. Okay. Did I get a book? Oh, I did. Sir Gareth and Miss Daphne loved each other so much it hurt. To win the approval of his future father-in-law, Gareth had to perform seven challenges. The seventh was the hardest. Gareth had to go to Lynx Crag, find the witch who lives there, and convince her to lift the drought that plagued the whole land. Everyone, including Daphne, pleaded with Gareth to humble himself before the witch. You see, the witch from Lynx Crag was spiteful and headstrong, even for a witch, and only an act of true, true humility could break her icy heart. Gareth, however, had no intention of bending his knee before a witch. Instead, he planned to force her to lift the curse. Nobody knows what happened on Link's Crag, but Gareth had never returned to his beloved. Daphne stood on top of the hill and looked for him day and night. Finally, she turned into a tree so that she may live to see the return of her night. Such was the strength of her longing and power of her love. Anyone who plunged his axe blade into that tree would see blood run from the wound. Folk started to avoid that place, leaving Daphne in peace to wait for Gareth. In time, all had forgotten about her. So, he had to go lift the drought, and true humility could break her heart, break her icy heart, and he was like, no, and then he never returned, and so she turned into a tree. Weird. <laughs> Nice, kitty. <sighs> what an interesting quest. This DLC has been very good. The side quests have been very good too.
I love the music. A hut. A witch's. A witch's hut. Should I should I have a hut like that? If, if I can get a good internet there, honestly, maybe. <laughs> hut looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Reminds me of some places like in Skyrim. Warm. Smells inconclusive. No idea what ingredients are in there. The transmutation of bodies. The transmutation of bodies is one of the most difficult tasks any mage can undertake. Indeed, only true masters of the art have ever accomplished it, and even they have only perfected one of its forms. This difficulty arises from psychophysical limitations, since a mage can only safely transform into an animal which he is perfectly attuned. A famous example is that of Ulf Blackbeard, who dwelled for years in a cave with a bear in order to imbibe the life essence of that animal. So you have to, like, train yourself to, like, have the essence of an animal in order to transform in it. That's kind of an interesting thing. Ivonis, Conclave of Mages banned this tome. I then came to a place known as the Nath Valley, and a world known as Shagai. The mind of man cannot comprehend this land, where non-geometric space and blasphemous colors fly in the face of everything our eyes are accustomed to. In that instant, in the moment of my arrival, I teetered on the verge of madness. Shagorath, right? I shouted a noiseless cry, and sweat bloody sweat, when two suns rose above my head. I fell to my knees and prayed to... Zoth... something. Not for salvation, but for a quick death. And then they came. They? Capitalized? The capital T is how you know it's serious. Bones ground into dust. Bone dust. Goody. Notes on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Yarrow is, first and foremost, used for medicinal purposes. As mentioned above, when the leaves of this herb are placed against the flesh, they heal all kinds of trauma, wounds, and sores. Brew it, and the resulting tincture treats the common cold, colic, and loss of appetite. Yet, in addition to their healing properties, the branches of the yarrow plant can be used for fortune-telling. This method of divination might seem strange upon first glance, but in truth is simple and effective. This, it truly allows one to focus on the query at hand and gain an answer both accurate and satisfying. Wormwood. Sulfur. Wart. Scents fresh. Spell enhancements Ooh. or trophies. Arrow broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch off a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest or a bad one. I wonder. It would depend on what are the, those those symbols are and. The, the, Directions, I suppose, whether it's like up or down, I guess. Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Is this a bad thing? I'm not like fully can like I don't know. Is this evil? I'm not sure. The doll is suspicious. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I have a guest from afar at that. What do you seek? Hello there. In my home? 
What do you have for us? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? Why would we not? Do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Lynx Crag, would be hard pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. I'll handle the curse myself, without your help. Go right ahead. I wish you luck. She doesn't Let care. Me go, just like that. I could not have devised a better ending for this little tale. Our visit is done. Adieu. For never shall we meet again. Hmm. All right. So back to the bleeding tree. Being down the side of the mountain. Yeah, pretty nice night here tonight. Thank you all for being here. And for refreshing when the stream does that. Unfortunate. Look Just look. Try to take in Roach over here, I guess, but we're kind of sightseeing. I don't know. No it's pretty. Luck. Let's go. Whoop. Geralt is a mountain climber. You know, he's he's climbed many mountains. Metaphorically and literally. Why so creepy around here? So? You met the witch. You must have. What did you learn? She's fine. That witch? She's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceresses witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? Um... Well... Do we Daphne's know? Daphne's kerchief. We'll use it to lift the curse. I hope this goes well. The right time. I'm just worried because the, the lady comes, was I'll light four like, fires oh, for the four winds, then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood, much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll sing to the rest. It's like, I got this. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this will turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. I'm just speaking with spirits and, and ghosts again. If you see me draw my Fine. sword, run. Named your cat Daphne. It's a cute name. Okay, that's not the right fire. We have to write... We have to light the right fire. The world about you lives and yours. Light rushes in on the southern breeze. I hope this works. On fall's eastern winds, summer's reprise. Oh. Upon the north wind, winter's clouds roll in. Okay, him saying the north wind like that just immediately makes me think of like the Frozen 2 songs with Elsa singing. Where the north wind meets the sea, I feel like he's about to break into song and I'm, I'm here for it. Anyways, that's just, no, that's where my brain goes, it's good. Midst the winds of the west, your name sings and spins. Daphne rise, live again among men. Hear me, 
you who hide beneath this bark, recall today who you really are. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Sounds like screaming. Is that... Are we doing it right? Run! Oh. Uh oh. Is he gonna die? Flips. Did we what do it, did it or... there? My fault. Went about lifting the curse the wrong way. More like Tor than freed her from her prison. Shock was too much. Released all the rage and pain. I didn't was find in her. something. Blimey, man. I suppose that's what I get for hiring a bungler. At least the lady's pain is done. Oh She'll no, I didn't no do it correctly. Now take your coin and go. What did I not find? Should I buy? I thought that me telling the lady that like I was gonna go do it myself, she'd like say something. She was just like, ah, oh, good luck, and then let me do it. Like I guess. I feel like that could have gone better. I feel like that could have gone better. Oh no. Ah, we've had good outcomes on most of our quests, but you know, not all of them. Not all of them. Um, we could go do some Gwent in a minute, but let's let's go kill those monsters here. Where to? Let's just run down here. Well, if I go if I go this way, there's something over here. Hey ya. Oh, but he's nervous, yes. <laughs> Faster. Do I not need to be in here? Be gone not. from my sight. I am literally trying to be gone from your sight. Roach, can we not jump a fence? No, we can't jump a fence. Uh, the Let's jumping go. mechanic in this game. I can't. You literally cannot have forward momentum. You cannot be going forward and jump, which is just counterintuitive to every single horse game. And I've played a lot of horse games, trust me. Okay, what's the hidden treasure? I'm just trying to jump the fence. It's not working. Why? Oh, did it have... Ooh. Journal of a Desperate Man. Charlotte is the love of my life. I suffocate with loneliness. I've found a solution. The witch from Link's Crag. She will help me end my heart's agony. Uh-huh. I'm sure. Also, cheers. <clears throat> um, let's see. I purchased a magic elixir from the witch. She said if I convince my beloved to drink it, I will be able to forget my problems forever. Oh. I sold the rest of my possessions and purchased jewels to give Charlotte when I propose. 
God soon now she shall be mine. As the witch instructed, I mixed the elixir with wine. I prepared a small picnic near the chapel at Cutterin Manor. My beloved agreed to meet to talk to me, but she, dr though she drank my enchanted estes, she still refused my proposal. She also spouted some nonsense about only becoming my wife when the jewels I gave her grown to grapevines. She fell into a strange, hysterical mood, and buried my present with her bare hands by their family chapel. Perhaps I need to wait before the elixir takes effect? Gods! Curses upon that cruel witch! She cheated me! She betrayed! Next day I went to Cutter and Manor to see Charlotte, but instead, a woodland monstrosity had taken over the entire property. So that is the end to my heart's suffering the foul enchantress spoke of. The elixir brought us about the death of my beloved, but death, death shall not separate us. I am ready to die, to live with her for all eternity. I shall hang for my sins, for love, for Charlotte. That is very dark. That is, that is not a, not a happy story. That's, that's... Wait, I thought there was a key. Gotta be a key on the body, right? No. Key. Maybe a key somewhere else? Maybe over here? Maybe nowhere? I think that was all. That was the hidden treasure. So there is no key. Cool! Go, go! North? And on to killing the next monsters. Down this way. I mean, yeah, this should be a pretty quick one. So let's start... Start here? Sure. about Dragon's Dogma earlier. I haven't played the first one, but I do want to check out the new one. Also, welcome, everyone. Alright. Off we go. This part is a little, a little ominous looking over here. Oh, wait, no. Roach, you stay out of this. There's fighting happening. Stab it, please. No? Okay, that's fine. Got him. I've lost him, my dearest. Someone has stolen him, my darling, my treasure. My spoon. That creature from the Car Caraberta woods. Must have been it. All the help says the town's abuzz with talk about missing spoons. For much time now, indeed. Since this creature has stolen cutlery from all Beauclair and he has not yet been caught by a valiant guard, it means it must be clever. I asked my jeweler, Mathenberg, to make me a spoon out of pure gold, which I should take to the Carabar Caraberta woods to find that monster and propose a trade. A spoon of gold for my most precious spoon. Oh, he wanted his spoon back. I wonder if he got it. I'll have to ask the lady. Did you give the spoon back? Did you eat him? Or is he safe? <laughs> yes, yeah, Smeagol! I was wondering what the deal was with that... that name. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, it's wine merchant. Okay now. Did you manage it? Not yet. Uh. Oh, fate's a bitch gone in the teeth. Oh, 
What, what did he say? <laughs> what is that? Gargoyle. Yerdin, always Yerdin. Always Yerdin. What do we have here? It's <laughs> a lot of dialogue in this game. It's so good. It catches me off guard sometimes. <laughs> there we go. Back up. And we already went over here. All right, time to go. They're rock enemies. They're they're gargoyles. So I suppose so. Is it over? Is it done? It is done. It's all clear now. Did you manage it? Yeah, all taken care of. <laughs> and four call witches lay about some freeloaders. Bollocks. Storehouse Thanks. will be ready in two days at most. And here on in, you've cut rate prices on all my goods. One thing that's interesting about this expansion versus the main game that I'm noticing, there's a lot more of a focus on like time and having us wait. The main game hardly ever made me wait for anything. These quests make me wait pretty often. So long. Oh. <laughs> Feet as cold as ice? Which one was this? Any semblance of false modesty aside, I can comfortably contend that my songs of Geralt's deeds are known the world over. The Duchy of Toussaint is no exception. There, my ballad praising our witchers so oft demonstrated valor and honor remain popular to the extreme. So much so that on one occasion it was chiefly thanks to my works that Geralt was offered a contract. A young noble lady who had learned of the Witcher solely from my thoroughly accurate descriptions picked him out of a crowd and promptly begged him for aid. She was concerned for her fiancé, Francois, who had set out not long past to slay a monster in honor of his betrothed. The monster was known as a gr as Grator, and the lady's beloved had not yet returned. The lady tasked the Witcher with learning what had become of the young knight. That's it, Roach. That sounds like something we can help with. Oh, yeah, no, this is not the not the expansion with Shawnee, but we we uh we did get to know her when we played through it. Yeah, Heart of Stone though was um very good and I appreciated the little the the subtle Heart of Stone reference in this one. 
Also, this is pretty. What is this? That's cool. I like this. Is there like a mod that I can get that will let me like more intensely decorate my house? I feel like there's gotta be. You know? Oh, the be most beautiful time of day. That sky. Quite nice. Pretty light for 4 a.m. All right, so this guy's missing. We gotta find him. Here he is. My darling Francois, already a week has passed since my eyes last behold your fair visage, my beloved. I know important nightly matters keep you, yet pray tell, my sweet, how can you bear the horrible agony of our separation? Mama asks every day when you shall next pay us a visit. And Papa says he simply cannot wait until you at last kneel before him and ask for my hand. I explain to him how horribly busy you are, but in truth I too desire with all my heart and strength to see you kneel and so tell you at long last. Yes, a thousand times yes. Dear Jacquette, I have thought and thought and finally have it. In order to fully deserve you, I must first prove myself I am worthy of the tremendous honor of winning your hand. Know that I have sworn a chivalric vow not to rest until I bring you a silver platter, the head of Grotor, the hideous monstrosity which none so far has bested. Do not seek to find me, but instead watch for my glorious return as a proven monster slayer. As she sends someone after him because she's afraid he's going to die. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you scared me half to death, Drifter. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Geralt of Rivia? Geralt of Rivia, crest of the bridge. Hail and well met. Formal. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... For Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Mm, by napping outside the cave for a fortnight. I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Uh-huh. Perhaps got a... A bit ambitious? I'm so tempted to say, don't let me get in your way, but... Can I help? Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I... I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all... Loophole. I, I suppose you're right. We must fight side by side then. For honor. For honor. And for wine. Oh good, he has a health bar. Oh goody. That means we can fail. Okay, it's so pretty. This is why you had to do an evil hero fighter. <laughs> no, no. Ruthless Geralt. But I should be the one to lop off its head. Okay. Hmm, strange. No sign of Gratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. Cradle filled with children's shoes. But I've ever seen a collection this grotesque. What is... What is... Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Are those hibiscuses? It's so random. 
Um, what is... This is... Something on the other side. And hope to get through. There's neither sword nor sign will cut this. feeding. Need to lure it. Uh, very well. To work then. Gods, thy will be done. <laughs> will it? Okay. What is this one considered? What is this one considered? Okay, so G. Yes, relic. <clears throat> Happened like this. A nasty rain caught me while I was out in the woods, so I thought to myself, I'll hide in some hollow, for God's forbid I get soaked through and catch a cold at my age. So I crawled into a cave, and there inside, something rose at me, tore the hell out of there so fast, when to dried, my, dried out my coat by the time I got home. No one knows exactly when the Spriggan called Grator first made its home in the caves of the foot of Mount Gorgon. Spriggans usually prefer isolated backwoods and rarely make dens in caves. Yet, Grator used, seemed to have taken a liking to grottos, giving rise to its nickname, Grator. The monster was quite well known among Beauclair Knights, who often talked of it as a potential source of great glory. None were particularly eager to actually engage the monster in combat, however. None is, except for the, uh, young knight, Francois. Wait. Zymeridium and Igni. Ooh. I'm burning the plants. Oh, no. That's so rude of us. Do I have to burn all of them? Can't you come out before I burn all of your beautiful plants? Come on. Thank you. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> easy. He lived, right? The other guy. I was not paying attention to the other guy's health health bar, but I I, I don't think he died. Looks like he did. <sighs> cool. By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... Mm -hmm. You're blushing, Sir Knight. Hmm. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another for two years. So I bowed to slay Grattori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast. Why, it could take months. 
Mm -hmm. So you just Especially plan to camp out here? You are going. Uh huh. <laughs> what is this guy's plan? What is this plan? High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle. Holy and oh, yeah. to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world like, seriously, awaits. dude? Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another yeah. more terrible beast. It's what she wants, clearly. Go. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. If you don't want to be with her, You're then blind. don't be with her. Once I return, I will have or to just give her the damn trophy. <laughs> She'll track me to the nearest shrine. Why? Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. Oh no, she cares oh, that's about nothing me. Nothing to do with hunting monsters, which is work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work that you're just not cut out for. Want to prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do not mince words, master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground for a lesser slight. <laughs> Yet, there is... He's like, well, you're say. telling the truth. Deny. It's crazy. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time... I might have returned home. There we go. This guy was trying to procrastinate telling a girl yes to getting married by hunting unattainable monsters. So that's something. You know, that's that's one way to get out of things. Mortal peril. <laughs> um. Yeah, so something about cows and white orchard and all? That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. We also need to go find the roach quest. We can go take a look around right now. Maybe go see if we can find that up in the northern part. Not a bad plan. Game definitely does imply that killing cows is not going to end well, so I haven't really done it. Guess we can see. There's a boar. I think we just keep running. <laughs> Super hard boss in Doom. Oh, Snake got you back into Fortnite. Fun. <laughs> I wouldn't mind playing some more Fortnite. I haven't played since we uh, played on stream the other week. But I'd love to play some more. Always have fun with that one whenever I hop back in. Early in the game's history, players would slaughter cows in White Orchard for the rawhide as an early game method of getting a lot of money. Oh, so they made like a whole thing out of it. That's funny. I mean, I like that. Interrupting the party, excuse me. I'd love to play through Doom again. I played through Doom Eternal years ago. Gosh, that game was gorgeous. I thought that would look incredible on this PC and this monitor. All right. Okay. I need to figure out how to get through here. Like, what in the world? Mm. Every time they found new money exploits, they made a meme out of it when they fixed it. I mean, that's a good attitude to have, you know? They say a great deal about you, Witcher. Hey! Hmm. Very strange, but anyways. Let's finish this up. We gotta go back and talk to Francois' beloved who he seems to be avoiding, and he either needs to tell her that he does not want to marry her, or just hurry up and do it. So...
hide over here in this part of the city. Mama says that if someone's really, but I mean really, really, really bad, it means his heart is made of stone. Made a heart made of stone, hmm? I wonder where we have heard that before. We've heard of that instance. I would hate to come off as impertinent, but was it not you who won the tourney, Sir Greylocks? Sir Greylocks? <laughs> Forget Goldilocks, Sir Greylocks. Got good news, madam. As do I. Francois has returned. We marry in a week's time. <laughs> Prenuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. Dress fitting the next morn, then a tour of the wedding venue. I have never been so happy. Oh, she's so happy. Oh, do I tell her? If he came back, like maybe he does want. Uh... I don't know if I tell her. He came back. Congrats. Mm. Congratulations, I guess. <laughs> Wish you happiness, both of you. And good fortune to you on your path. You're the world master. And Godspeed. Maybe I should say something. Maybe I should, but... <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> Maybe I should have told her? She was so pumped, though. I hope that things work out well. I'll go back and smack some sense into him or something. I don't know. I'll go take him back to a, a cave and let him get hit by a troll or something until he learns. Not a troll. Keep the trolls safe. Okay, guys. So... Here's what I'm thinking. So we didn't quite get to finish up absolutely everything tonight. So I think tomorrow we come back. Do some Gwent. And the last little bit of anything we want to do before um, this whole business on Friday. Now that I have my money, go tell her. Ah, yeah, now you're talking. <laughs> she probably wouldn't believe you if you did. Love is blind. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Like, would she even care? Probably not. I mean, the fact that he's there, like, I don't know. Maybe he maybe he has decided that he is suddenly in love. I don't, I, I don't know. That's not for me to decide, I suppose. So... <laughs> I maybe could have told her why he was delaying, but hmm. again, he's he's there, so. Alright, Gwent tournament. And that's kind of mostly it. And we need to go like do the whole building monument site and stuff. So interesting. Alright. Um That is I think the point at which we make a new save. And call it here before it crashes again. <laughs> Um, it was a lot of fun though, and I had a great time. If you're watching on YouTube in the future, thank you so much. Um, but I had a great night, and I'm excited to finish up the game, but also like, no! Gotta start another playthrough. Eventually. <laughs>